Welcome to a bonus episode of Pro Wrestling is Art. How I got the shot? Um, not really how I got the shot. This is more taking a look at uh, some shots that I did on my most recent uh, photo zine. Um, it's actually called Pro Wrestling is Art. This one is volume two. Uh, so we're going to take a look from the beginning uh, at the cover. Uh, this was a shot that was actually taken at uh, the All Elite Wrestling show that I shot towards the end of 2019 and this was the inner circle coming out uh really love the look of this you've got jericho on the on the titan tron i really enjoyed this uh, bec mostly because there were some my local guys in here in this segment you had the regals and uh, mike Sidell. uh so this was a really cool segment i just love how this shot incorporates everything so that's why it made the cover uh, as soon as you turn into page two uh, Luke Harper, Brody Lee. Um, I actually had something different uh, in that spot, and then um, you know, tragedy struck and uh, the news hit. So uh, this was taken actually to WWE House Show in Cedar Rapids. I was actually uh, shooting from the crowd, snuck the camera in, and uh, really loved this shot. Really, the only time that I ever got to to shoot Brody Lee, Luke Harper. So. Um, kind of felt like this needed to be included in the book um you know hopefully everybody kind of got the nod when they uh when they saw this this next one was actually from uh, my first wwe raw taping that i was actually credentialed at and i was very excited to uh, see that aj styles was wrestling randy orton on this one uh, they put me in a weird spot. Normally hard cam, you're right behind the hard cam, but I was kind of over to the right a little bit. But uh, in this particular shot, it worked out. You got AJ and the beams of light behind him and uh, with the phenomenal forearm. So I was really, really pleased when I saw that I had this shot. Um, yeah. I Again, the post was in the way, but it was it, it turned out nicely. The next one, um, I actually did a collage of some of the uh, guys that I met through Journey Pro. You got Karam in the upper left, Tommy Vendetta in the lower left. Um, you got Jake something, um, known as Cousin Jake on Impact. Um, and then you got Aaron Orion in the upper right. These guys travel together. Um, great to work with them at, at Journey Pro and um, through different times I took promos of them in the back and just kind of thought these all fit nicely together in the book. Um, you know, really enjoy all four of these guys. I haven't seen any of them in quite a while. Uh, moving it back here to the local scene, you got uh, a shot from one of my favorite local places to shoot. It was uh, in Algona with uh, Impact Pro Wrestling, and you got uh, Maria Slade, James Jeffries, and, and Ryan Slade. So, uh, I don't remember what the segment was, but I just always uh, adored this this shot of the three of them there. Um, really nothing special, but I just felt it belonged in, in the second second book. Uh, this next one was a lot of fun. Uh, ringside at uh, Wrestlepalooza up in Minneapolis. First wrestling, first avenue. Uh, this was night two. Warhorse defended the uh, IWTV title. Um I believe this was a four-way match against, uh, I know, JDX. Um, gosh, it's terrible. I forget who was in that match. Uh, but I absolutely love this shot. Um, oh, um, Heaven Metal Lore and Ryan Cruz and JDX against Warhorse. So uh, really, really enjoyed this, but love this shot of, of Warhorse. He's done an amazing job of, um, getting himself over. He was on AEW earlier or last year. Um, a lot of fun. <clears throat> Next shot was really cool. Uh, you got two boys now signed to, to All Elite Wrestling, and you got uh, one of the greatest uh, in ACH there. Uh, these three were having a lot of fun backstage at Black Wrestlers Matter. Um, and right after the show, um, 
think it was Darius was like, Hey, can, can we get a shot with Albert? Well, of course you can. I uh, love all three of those guys worked with all three of them, different places, different times. Uh, but that was such a wonderful environment. Look forward to the next one, uh, in June, just kind of running around doing whatever, kind of taking a backseat to things. But I was glad I was able to get the shot, especially with, uh, everything that's gone on. Back to Impact Pro, a couple of my favorites, Malice and Justin Decent. Uh, you know, I had actually taken some of the IPW photos down off my website for whatever reason. And Mike told me he was so happy to see that that one of him and Justin in the bottom left corner choking each other was in there because um, he hadn't, couldn't find it. Well, there it is, and it's included. Love both of these guys. They had a fun hardcore match. Uh, you know, Justin had to have wrist surgery, so... Uh, he actually, hey, look who decided to join us. <clears throat> we got Bella here. Uh, Justin had to have wrist surgery before this, or after that, sorry. Got thrown off by Bella. Uh, got the Black and Brave kids here. We got, uh, you know, these were done at all different times. Uh, almost every single one of these. Okay, sweetie, you're going to have to get down. Almost every single one of these was done uh, a couple of them were done at Black and Brave. Uh, a couple of them were done at a school in Davenport. One of them was done backstage at Black Wrestlers Matter. But just to put this together for just a nice little look at the uh, some of the talent that's come out of Black and Brave. Um, and I was actually going to go over all their names until Bella jumped up here. Now I'm going to run out of time before we move on to the next one. But uh, take a look at just that insane talent coming out of Davenport. Uh, back to, let's see, we got Algona, Waterloo, and Algona, so, um, Maddie Starr, uh, just a couple, those of you that got the book are going to see, there's a couple of guys in there where we just did, you know, four different pictures of different parts, uh, Maddie's one of my favorites, um, one of the most underrated guys in the area, so. Um, got him kicking Austin Fouts in the face, got him kicking Ryan Slade in the face, uh, and then a couple of pose shots with the belt. Next one back to the Monday Night Raw, uh, we got Drew McIntyre, and this was, uh, right after, right after, no, right before he won the Royal Rumble, so this is when you can tell he was, uh, they were kind of pushing him to the moon here, but, uh, I want to th this was like the week before Christmas, so probably, you know, about a month before he won the Royal Rumble, but uh, absolutely loved the shot on the turnbuckle. Had a few different um, poses of it, uh, but this one turned out to be my favorite. Um, not going to go over the entire book, just wanted to pick a few select shots, but this back cover is probably one of my favorite shots I've ever taken in professional wrestling. The man, uh, Becky Lynch. Uh, she didn't do much that night, just came out and cut a promo, but luckily she did her her pose, and I was able to capture it, and that's the last thing you see on Pro Wrestling is Art Volume 2. Hey, if you liked videos like this, maybe I'll make another. Um, just wanted to put some stuff out there and talk about this photo design, so uh, thanks for watching.